What's going on, Kicks Gang? It's Heat Kicks back with another video, and welcome back to Kicks from the Past. So, like I had spoken to you guys before, um, as this starts to happen, more and more you guys will get to see what this feature will be within my YouTube channel. Um, but for the first episodes, I will kind of give a little brief experience you know, description and explanation of what I will be doing. This will be episode two of the Kicks from the Past series that I'm going to be doing. And basically, like I had explained before, um, I show you guys all the new kicks that I get, you know, if they get come in early or if I basically get them I do the review for you guys you know we talk about sneaker cleaning and maintenance there's a lot of different videos that we do that are in the here and now and basically what this does is because it's a new channel it allows me to bring some shoes that I've picked up in the past some really dope collections that I would love to share with you and I decided to name this series uh, this is episode two like I said but I decided to name this series kicks of the past so with that let's go ahead and get into the second shoe of the collection the second shoe I decided was really not for any specific reason but I did really really like this shoe and this is the Los Angeles Lakers colorway of the Kobe Pro Tro so I know you guys have seen this in a lot of different colorways they've done undercover they've done a lot of different really dope collabs like the red camo all the camo ones are just sick pretty much every single one I I've seen um, was sick and this was actually part of the uh, think 16 pack and I'm trying to find out um, I had these in the drop front box so I didn't actually have the um, the box out but yeah this was part of that think 16 pack where they had the 16 shoes um, that mark different points like in NBA history um, I don't have the exact history on the shoe but what I do know is the Kobe Pro Tro shoe was a shoe that was worn by Kobe and as you can see it's got the number 8 and I'm pretty sure because that's what Kobe's number was previously or that's what it was when he was with the Lakers at an earlier time I'm not quite sure um, what exactly the ape represents I'm not the, huge, the biggest Kobe fan in the world but I am a big fan of the shoe and basically all of his achievements so although I didn't follow him directly I did watch him play a lot I you know I knew all about his career and stuff but basically what this was is a remake basic almost it's a it's a retro so a complete copy of what the shoe used to be back in the day probably 10 15 years ago but they kind of amped it up they put carbon fiber they added a i believe it has full length air um and basically they they took an old school shoe and they put new school technology in it so that it could be used even better on the court you know for people playing basketball today I don't even play basketball like I've said to you guys in the past. Uh, I have several disabilities, so pretty much everything I have that I have is rocked for, you know, just the casual, you know, being out and about, but I do love my basketball sneakers and that pretty much takes up most of what my collection is outside of Adidas and like Ultra Boost and Yeezys and stuff like that, you know, that those are going to be really for comfort and for pain and stuff like that but they're really really dope so I want to get into it it's got this really really nice white tumbled leather it's got purple laces and then up on top it's got a dark purple Kobe logo here and then of course it's got the up tempo on the back so it's part of like the air more up tempo series um, that they have like the uh, air more up tempos the 96s I think they had like the Chicago pack it's built off of that type of air technology and it's just kind of concealed and then the way they have it down here it almost looks like really big teeth and it's basically just you know cuts in the section and then you have that overlaying purple but that entire shoe is leather so you can even see here on the front you have the tumble leather here tumble leather all throughout and then you've got the mesh collar you've got the up tempo on the back and then this here too even the swoosh the yellow swoosh on the side is also leather and it's really cool because if you can I don't know if you guys can tell but you can see here it's not just like a little bit laid in it's like a really thick swoosh that's actually cut into the material and it's just really dope the combination of the white the purple and the yellow together and then of course it's got a star on each shoe it's got a star here 
and then a star also on the other shoe and I think that represents his number of MVPs I believe so it's all-star MVPs but I'm not exactly sure what each one of them means but I know that they do have some significance to the shoe and then on the inside it has a perforated insole which is actually really comfortable and breathes a little bit better than a normal shoe and then that kind of gets back to the comfort and the technology you know the newer technology that we had talked about that they added to the shoe and then it has the gold symbol on the inside there for the outsole pretty much just a typical kobe pro trail outsole with the purple and the white hair and then you can see down in the uh, nike swoosh is actually carbon fiber so you can tell that the carbon fiber goes all the way through uh, as the shank plate on the bottom and then of course you have carbon fiber all the way down the side all the way around the back and then on the inside here so the shoe is really really dope they did it up with a really nice pair of purple laces and then the purple laces have they're not super super crazy or anything but they're like a uh, a metallic type of lace I'm trying to see if I can get that to zoom in it's like a metallic lace with the uh, the Nike swoosh on it as well and the funny thing about it is if you look on the shoe also on the outside of the shoe it's got that really cool tumbled leather right but then on the inside if you look at it and I know it's kind of hard to tell but it almost looks like it's like all messed up so it's like doesn't look tumbled it looks like it's square and it's like the leather is a bit harder than the outside and a lot of people complained and they were like god the quality control was horrible on these and then I went ahead and I looked on the other side oh I dropped it so I went and looked on the other side same thing nice tumble leather and then it was like that on the other side and then i looked at several other pairs as well i called up a couple friends and looked at their pairs and this has actually happened to me a couple times so the uh lebron pagalis that came out those were actually designed to look rustic with like some scuff type marks and kind of had like an old school rustic look to it and that was part of the design but people were freaking out thinking their product was designed without actually doing the research first and the way that the leather is done on these is actually how that was designed so if you guys have these and you're still pissed thinking that that's not right that's how the shoe is supposed to be and yeah if you guys could if you guys do know the answer let me know down in the comments what the eight represents like I said I'm pretty sure that it was Kobe's number earlier in his career at one time and as you can see oh as always authentic still got that StockX sticker on there but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up with that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And smash that notification bell so you can get all my videos on demand. I've got tons of content coming soon. And don't forget to check back with me soon. It's Heat Kicks. I'm out.